True. But there's other... There's still Smash to be had. There's still gamers to be gaming. And there is a good a good New York classic. Vivi against Carflo. Uh, Vivi, who, ha who will not be going Lucario, uh, he is... Or they have been primarily focusing on Hero and trying to make it their their solo main with like a mm. sprinkling of Terry. Uh, but Carpool is this is one of Carpool's bracket demons to be sure. Vivi's dash back heavily like spacing and defense oriented playstyle can be really really troublesome for Carpool to continuously get in on. I mean, just look at how VB is so comfortable standing in the corner, pulling up menu, because he knows Carflow wants to see, wants to see him, wants to see them push, wants to see them get aggressive on a yeah. baited one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's, oh, wow. And, it, like, at any point, like, I bring up, I bring up here, I, I bring up Smash in 2022 a lot, but Hero in 2022 is really, really messed up. Like, it, it's because they're, like, all the Hero players who are still hanging around have gotten so good at the mind games that the command menu provides. Um, like, like, you know, you can leave it up uh, from, from across the stage and you can have your opponents like, oh, wait, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? And then all of a sudden you just top deck Sizzle and then you just get, a, you get an edge guard from that. Or you top deck Kaboom, the best move in the game. Boom's pretty solid, but we haven't seen, we've been seeing much more focus on the buffs, and we will continue to see much more focus on the buff-oriented gameplay from, uh, from Vivi. Psycho, Boom, Accelerado especially, are difference makers, and honestly, transform the matchup. But when Kaboom comes up, it's hard not to press it, as it sets oh, up yeah. for that ledge trap from Vivi, from forcing Cargo to pick an early option, which he covers with the end which they cover with the f yeah. and, and you mentioned Accelerado. It's so huge because Roy is such a fast character, oh, and yeah. this is really what you need to even the matchup in that in that regard. You're taking you're you're almost neutralizing one of Roy's biggest strengths. You know, and, uh, and, and not necessarily making it your own, but okay. Oh, was that a bait? Maybe, maybe? No way. That was, like, imagine if it hits, it kills. And if it doesn't, well, you cover yourself with F tilt, which F tilt one is it has shield properties and can power through, uh, can just power through moves. Ooh. Accelerado on deck gives you the permission to go deep off stage like that. Before Carflow is able to react, it turned all in favor of uh, of Vivi's hero, and he, and they take game one uh, pretty handily. A very nice two stock. Oh yeah, that uh, that that Accelerado floor there was fully authorized. Um, and yeah, I mean, you mentioned, uh, Vivi, they are Carflow's bracket demon and I can certainly see why after that game one. Yeah, I think it just, it really goes to show off of that moment where, uh, Vivi was standing perfectly still and got three parries into three and in two of them being jab punishes and one an F tilt on the cross up. Where it's just, Vivi just understands characters like Roy who play this like heavy aggression. They understand the rushdown timings and they understand how to find those parries. Not to mention Hero's jab is a really good just answer after a parry. While it's not necessarily a true parry punish on, on a lot of things, it's an anti-air jab, which oh, is my. pretty good. Speaking of anti airs, if you don't jump, if you don't jump high enough, that big caprice will uh, will blow you up. That's that's a big fireball. <laughs> and Vivi's game plan here is just it's all disruption. It's not all disruption because you got to get the kill somehow. But they're using they're using Uppy and the lingering nature of Uppy to both escape pressure and also set up for their own offense. Um, and then uh, when you mentioned like uh, options out of parry, like that jab, Hero is a character that almost more than any other characters, oh, by the way, there's a critical hit, they can do that too. Um, like Hero's a character that almost more than any other can really utilize the like one to two seconds of space you gain from jabbing somebody away because it gets to a command menu and usually a buff. Um, Nice fillet on the side B there from Carflow to uh, get that first stock. This is still doable, but uh, it's going to be the luck of the draw. Quite literally in some cases, and I think yeah, you yeah. brought it up, and I think you found the perfect word for how Vivi's hero is operating in this matchup. Disruption. No! <laughs> 
Yep. Disruption is He's such gone. A, he, oh, it's super gone. Cause Zap is not even like it's so good. It's so unbelievably strong. But I think that word really encompasses just how strong VV was able to play the ma play that matchup and play against Carflow because they would find parry into jab, parry into forward tilt, up tilts on jump ins. And when you think after all of these attacks that Carflow is like, well, I'll use my safe aerial. And even if they parry, I'll pull up shield. What are they gonna do? Grab me? It's fine. But most of the time they've been jabbing me and I can get a punish after that. Well, in comes this hatchet man to tell you that, no, you can't do that either. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all I gotta say about that, that ain't Nelly. No, that Nelly, was not.